This is day three of my 72 hour soy lent 2.0 challenge. For this particular challenge, all I'm gonna be doing for three days is drinking soy lent 2.0. This is the bottled version. So I'm on day three right now. Everything is going really well so far. So in summary, uh, when I woke up this morning, I felt pretty good actually. Uh, I didn't feel hungry at all. I actually felt uh, good energy and everything like that. So I'm actually excited to drink uh, the breakfast, uh, but so far this challenge is going a lot easier than the emergency food ration bars. So let's drink breakfast really quick and continue on with day three. So I weighed myself this morning and I lost 4.4 pounds from day two to day three. And I'm gonna be continuing to monitor my weight. So I've, so far I've lost around 6.5 pounds in the past two days. Again, just doing three of these bottles a day, I'm having 1,200 calories. So it's a lot less than what I'm normally consuming. And some of that's probably water weight too. Uh, I definitely really like these when they're as cold as possible. Last night I had one, it was almost like a Slurpee, and that was actually really good because it kind of, uh, it was like, almost like drinking a milkshake at that point. If it had some additional flavor, it'd be even better. Yeah, I'm really surprised that I haven't got grossed out yet at this point. I think if you were to do these like a, for breakfast and lunch and then eat something at dinner, uh, you could do this for an extended period of time, no problem, or even just having one like for lunch, so having a breakfast, drinking one of these for lunch, and then having a dinner. I think you could do this for a long time and not really get sick of it. Especially if it helped you uh, lose weight and consume less calories in the day. All right, final gulp, breakfast, day three. All right, one down, two to go. And then we'll be at the end of this challenge, which I am kind of looking forward to because I want something to eat. All right, stay tuned for lunch. All right, welcome back to my mobile office, otherwise known as my car. So I've been trying to film outside, but it's been way too windy to do it. So to avoid any kind of wind noise in the microphone, I've been filming in the car for lunch. And it's also nice to get away from uh, people that are eating food that I want to eat. So time for lunch, day three. Yeah, again, uh, that's not so bad. My energy level is really good, actually. I'm really surprised with the, uh, how just having 1,200 calories, how I have plenty of energy, even without eating any kind of solid food. So a lot of the people that are in Silicon Valley uh, that choose to eat, uh, to drink the soy lint as a meal replacement, and then I, I could totally see how they could do one to two of these a day and then a, a meal in the evening or just doing a single meal. I think it'd be very doable to do, especially if they wanted to do it as a way of saving money. Uh, each meal or bottle is around two dollars and seventy cents. So a lot, oftentimes, for example, when I go to the food trucks at work, I'm spending ten dollars a meal uh, on average. So it's definitely a way of saving money if that's uh, of interest. And I think it's doable. And if you were able to add additional flavors in here, for example, <laughs> add some chocolate in there, add some 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 kind of sweetener, it would even it'd be even more doable. Uh, one piece of feedback that I received from my wife is that she does not enjoy uh, my breath by drinking a soylent, being on a soylent diet. I think her quote was, your, your breath smells like horse crap. So, uh, so I've been conscious of that. So that's her feedback regarding this challenge. So I'm trying to brush my teeth a little bit more and I uh, can be mindful of, of the breath because, uh, yeah. I've heard of some people where it's the opposite end that is uh, not pleasing to spouses but right now it's just my breath is not a uh, not up to her not up to par right now <laughs> again i could totally see how this could be a viable meal replacement for an extended period of time if you're able to supplement it with normal meals like having a normal dinner or a normal lunch and then doing these in between uh, it's quick to drink uh, energy wise it's uh, going well I'm able to still have things like coffee and tea without getting an upset stomach. And just uh, as far as uh, you know, mental capacity and everything like that, I'm not feeling dazed or confused or anything like that while drinking these. So I'm not sure for guys uh, how long you should be really drinking uh, soy because it, from what I hear that it can build up estrogen, which isn't good. So because I could use all the testosterone I could get. Uh, but, but that's one of the concerns my wife had with me doing this challenge. 
but yeah, I mean, I could totally see it being used long term. All right, last gulp, lunch, day three. All right, one more to go. All right, it's around 10.30, time for dinner, the final bottle for this 72 hour challenge. I'm definitely starting to get very used to the taste on it. It's uh, it's not as bad as the first one. Actually, I kind of look forward to drinking it just because I'm hungry. Now, if I were to do this for an extended period of time, I would have to do more than three bottles a day. I, I, I know that because uh, 1,200 calories isn't enough uh, for an adult male. So I think according to the ingredients and the nutritional information, I should have five bottles a day to get the 100% of vitamins and minerals and everything. Uh, but for 72 hours, uh, I'm not, not too worried about it. All right, final gulp, day three of the Soylent 72 hour challenge. All right, so we're gonna go to bed. We'll do a final weigh in in the morning to see how many pounds I lost. And then we'll do a wrap up of the video and then go get a real meal. So stay tuned. It's been 72 hours, so my Soylent 2.0 72-hour challenge is officially completed. So as you saw from the past three days of videos, this challenge wasn't as difficult for me as the other emergency food ration bars. Energy level, I was fine. I never got sick or lightheaded or just had trouble thinking. My bowels were fine. I mean, just all in all, it was a fairly successful three days without eating any kind of solid food. And I didn't really have as many of the cravings to eat solid food as well, although I was kind of isolating myself on some of those videos when I was actually drinking it and getting away from people that were uh, eating solid food. And so I'm going to start eating solid food again today. But uh, to be honest, I'm a little bummed out. It was kind of refreshing not having to worry about what I'm going to uh, pick for lunch or what we're going to have for dinner or what I'm going to have for breakfast or if I'm just going to eat whatever's available, uh, whether, whether it be crap food or who, who knows, or just uh, filling myself. I just, every meal I knew that I was going to have a Soylent. And so I think that's probably the one of the main, st the strategy that they had when the, designing this, that they just wanted to take that out. I don't think I am to the point of some Soylent users that feel that having to eat food is a nuisance. It almost seems like uh, I, I definitely enjoy eating food. Baby Prepper likes having food too. She's also on a liquid diet for the most part. <laughs> uh, but I'm not to the point of those particular customers, but I could definitely see why some people would like to just omit that part of their from their day-to-day -day lives as far as the whole thinking about food, craving food, deciding what to get, overspending on food, uh, spending too much on something that's not as good. Uh, I could see why some people would want to have Soylent and if they didn't have if they didn't have a healthy option that was good to just drink a Soylent and not waste the money on uh, crap food, whether it be unhealthy or just doesn't taste good, uh, I could definitely see that. So uh, part of me thinks I could continue going on with a Soylent challenge and having it for uh, one to two meals a day and having a, a solid food for one a solid meal and being just fine with that for a long time. So let's uh, go find something to eat because I still would like to eat something and then we'll wrap up this video of day three. rather than pig out, Soylent inspired me to eat a healthy breakfast. Yeah, that's mine. That's mine. That's gonna do it for day three of the Soylent 2.0 72 hour challenge. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. I probably shouldn't have eaten that cheese at the end, but we'll talk about that later. So what I'd like to do now is a final review video of the Soylent 2.0 after I've done the full three days of testing. So stay tuned for that. Leave your comments below in the comment section. And again, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. See you guys.